The Southern Finger Lakes are rich in aviation history, and a great place to learn about one of the area's most famous pioneers is at the Glen H. Curtis Museum in Hammondsport. Curator Richard Lysenring takes us on an insider's tour. Glenn did a lot of firsts in his life from the motorcycle era in 1907 with the world land speed record and followed by the first uh, publicly announced officially witnessed air flight in the United States in 1908 uh, and just continued on from there. Everything he did, he just did not want to lose. Vintage aircraft, motorcycles, automobiles, boats, bicycles, and even travel trailers tell the story of Curtis's myriad innovations, often tested in daring ways. Born in Hammondsport and only attending school up to the eighth grade, Curtis started racing and building bicycles as a teen and would go on to manufacture motorcycles. Glenn produced motorcycles between 1902 and 1912. Many of the motorcycles that you see here are contemporaries of that period of time. These are uh, these, wild. Yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one here is probably one of the most significant pieces in our collection. This is a exact duplicate of the record-breaking bike from 1907. Now, at that point in time, Glenn was developing a V8 engine for aeronautical use, but he wanted to see exactly how powerful it was. So he had his workers put it on a motorcycle frame, and in January of 1907, he took it down to Ormond Beach, Florida for the speed carnival that was taking place that year. And he was allowed two miles to build up speed, one mile to hold the speed and a mile to stop the bike. <laughs> it actually took him a mile to get the bike to stop. Well, he's got an airplane engine on a bike. Oh, exactly. <laughs> well, when he was finished, he found that he uh, had broken a land speed record of 136.4 miles an hour. But he did say it satisfied his need for and quest for speed. I'm sure it did. He probably <laughs> felt like he was about to take off and, uh, yeah, into the did. sky. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Curtis held the fastest man on earth title for four years. In 1908, he would win records in flight, flying the June Bug biplane over 5,000 feet, staying in the air for one minute and 42.5 seconds, setting a new record for both distance flown and time in the air. A reproduction of the June Bug is on display at the museum. Curtis pioneered the design of seaplanes and flying boats. He tested out many of his inventions in Hammondsport on Cuga Lake, where today, an annual Wings and Wheels Festival in September honors his legacy and the many innovations still in use today from one man with ingenuity, determination, and the courage to go fast, high, and far to create something new. <laughs>